All right, so this is the same USB drive uh, from the last video, and now we're going to show you how to play it on your TV. We have an MP3 file, a uh, JPG, which is a picture or a photo, and you'll need your remote to access it on most TVs. Now, if you'll notice, uh, if you look at your inputs, on my input, there is no uh, selection for USB drive. You got multiple HDMI's but no USB. So on mine, and it's an older Vizio from five years or older, you have to stick it in the side. Now most of these USB connections, and you may not be able to see that very well, but it's right here. It says, actually it says labeled USB right on the top there. I don't know if that'll actually show up, but it probably Probably will. Okay. I have two USBs. And when you put it in, you'll have to select which one. And you'll need the remote. So you just stick it in. And when, as soon as you stick it in, it comes up and asks you. That it says basically it found it. And do you want to watch it? And you hit OK. And then it will go into the USB section. And say so it recognizes it, and then if you have two, it'll give you both of them. So I just select that one, and you can see on mine it asks you if you want music, video, or photos. So you have to select it. If you use, just select music and you want to watch a video, you can't find the videos because it doesn't look for videos. So we're going to start with the video, and when it comes up, you can see basically I just have to do like a right arrow comes over to the files and then I go down and then when I find the file I want which is the one we just downloaded which is my newest video it starts out in small and then you have to hit it again the OK again to make it full screen and then when it's full screen I've got it on mute and there's what it looks like in full screen now, HTV will be slightly different but this is the beginning of Anglo-Israel uh, video number five. And then you can go, uh, like, I've got a fast forward function, so you can go uh, uh, different things. But at any rate, that's my latest video, and that's how you watch it. And it looks really good on a full screen, on a large uh, HDTV, which this one's about 50 inches, I think. And you can read all the uh, words very well and all that. So it's a easy thing. Now, that little 128, I say little, it's a 128 gigabyte uh, USB that we're using here. Uh, I only paid $20 for that on Amazon. And it will hold about 100 uh, hours of high def uh, TV or video, I should say, that you can watch on your TV. And... Uh, you can just carry that around in your pocket. So when people uh, ask about my videos, I generally I have them uh, right in my pocket on a USB drive, and I keep an extra one that's uh, all loaded up in case uh, people want all of that. I have the JPGs, and uh, I don't have any MP3s, but I have all my charts on there as well. Now let's just go back uh, here on my remote. I have a back feature. So first of all, let's uh, pause it and we'll go back. Now when we go back to get back to, uh, I think, I'm, you know, it's a little complicated. You got to go up, up, and then you see it's got a, a back arrow and you got to go back and then back and then back again. Or maybe you have to go up. Either way, you'll have to figure it out. Oh, this one I have to hit OK. So when it goes OK, I'll mute that. Then I can go into uh, music, for example. If I want to watch uh, the one uh, MP3, I hit OK. And then when it pulls up the files, you can see I've only got one MP3. And I have to go over and kind of go down and go to find it, for example. And then sometimes if you have a lot, you'll have multiple pages you got to flip through. So then when you play the MP3, hit OK. And you can see, and I'll uh, actually an old, uh, one of the voice of Christian Israel that was uh, saved in MP3 off of the uh, internet. And there's no uh, picture that goes with it, so all you hear is the sound. 
So it's the same thing as before, and then we'll look at an image. So I just uh, would stop that, and then you go uh, back. I think. Let me see how this one goes. Okay, let me just go up, and we'll go up, and I think uh, if we go back, and then back, and then hit OK. Okay, there you go. And then we can come back, and then if you select Photo, hit OK, then it comes into just pictures. Now, I've only got one picture to make it easy to find it here. All right, so I'll highlight the picture, hit OK, and then you can go full screen. So let's go full screen. Well, there you go. Yeah. So it's a lot of forward and back on this particular one to get what you want. But uh, that was my chart, Kindred Defined, and you can actually read it very well. I'm sure it'll show up in this. So however uh, your remote works, you just have to learn how to use it, learn how to flip through this stuff, and then uh, on this one it just goes to an exit to get back to uh, the TV and that's it. So that's how to use it. Each TV will be slightly different, but if you get your remote and start working with it, the good thing is uh, you can look at uh, all the charts and the videos on my website just with uh, one little USB drive that you can carry around in your pocket. Plus you can have a lot of other videos and audios and uh, pictures all on that little USB. So it's very convenient and it's extremely cheap compared to DVDs, which are not high def. Like I said, uh, you can watch high def on your TV where you couldn't do that if you had a DVD. Unless you had something like Blu-ray and then that's extremely expensive to get the equipment to write Blu-rays and very few people have Blu-rays. So no point in even thinking about DVD. The technology here is just so far beyond that. It's like going back to an 8-track tape. So that was just a simple uh, version of it. and. Uh, if we need to add to that, I'll do another video. Thanks for watching.